Hey, it's Christina with Kapwing. I've got a tutorial on how to change the color of an object in a photo. You can do some pretty cool things with this technique. I have used it to change wall colors and couch colors, but there are a lot of ways you can play with this. And if you aren't familiar, Kapwing is a free online video and image editing platform. You can use all these robust image editing tools for free. Now my goal with this tutorial is to give you some tools, techniques, and hopefully get 10 new subscribers. So that way I can keep giving you ideas for making your content even more creative. All right, let's get started learning how to change the color of an object in a photo. Click on the link in the description to be taken to the Kapwing studio, then say get started. We're going to start with a blank canvas. From here, you need to bring your image in and you have a few options. You can click upload right here, drag and drop, look in your files, or click images here and then you can do a Google image search. And just click on one of these and pop it in. So the way this is going to work is we're going to create a little layer sandwich. So here's an image I'm going to start with. It's a picture of a couch with a matching green wall. This is a dream living room I would love to have. Um, but do I want green or do I want blue? I don't know. So the way we're gonna do it is I duplicated this layer. So you can see I've got two layers here and I'll walk you through this all in more detail, but I just kind of want to break it down at the top. And then I'm going to use a remove background tool to create one layer that's just the room, the background, and then another layer that's the objects that I want to change color. So in this case, the wall and the couch. And then in between those layers, I'm going to create a color filter. So it's just a basically a square that I made purple. Um, so I'm going to stack this uh, room on top, color layer, object that I want. And in the end, when they're all stacked together, it'll look like that. So you can see actually, here's the top layer, here's the purple layer, and there's the green layer in the background, the couch. Word of advice when picking your image. This is a good one because it's fairly clean. If I was trying to change the color of these flowers, that would actually be a lot harder because so much of the background peeps through. So having something with really crisp lines like this is awesome. So let's duplicate this image by clicking on it and then clicking duplicate. And when you click on an image, it will open up all these little special um, editing options. So hit duplicate. And then, so you can see we have a new image here. We're just gonna click, drag and drop it, and put it directly on top of the other one. Now to exit out of these layer specific editing options, just click in this gray area here. Now the top layer is going to be the background. So I'm gonna click on it and then go to erase. Now we have two different ways of using the erase tool. And if you look up in the corner, I'll post a tutorial for a bit more details, but generally use the magic wand tool and it'll pick up certain hues. So this just got the whole green wall, which is great. And then I, I hit delete or remove pixel and it's all gone. It also got a lot of the couch because they're the same color, which is fine because in this case, I'm just trying to get rid of the green couch because for this layer, I just want the background. And then you can also use the eraser tool and you can change the size of your eraser. And in this case, I'm gonna want a big one because I'm just trying to kind of get rid of this stuff in here looks done so I'll say done now we need to get the second layer to remove the background so click in this area here so that way we can see all of our layers and we now want the bottom layer so we already did the top one and we want this bottom layer go to erase and now we want to get rid of the background <laughs> So when you're done, it'll look like this. So we just have the couch and the wall and everything else is gone, including those little pillows. So we'll say done. And now you can see there's a little bit of fuzziness here. So it's, a, you know, if I was really super fine tuning this, I might go back in and uh, retouch some of the areas. But for, for this, I think it's fine. Now we are going to create our color filter. So we do that by going to elements and we're going to create a green square. Put it up in the corner, drag and drop it, make it as big as the whole image. You can see right here the rectangle is on top, so we want it to go in between these two layers. So click on the layer here and then say send backwards. So now it's in the middle and 
it, you can tell it's obviously too dark. <laughs> it's like full solid black. So click on it and then lower the opacity a little bit so the other colors kind of shine through. And then now we can pick a different color. So we can make it a vibrant green or kind of a brownish color. Now you're gonna have to play with a bit of color theory here because uh, there is still green behind it. So you're gonna have to be kind of blending with green so you can't get like perfect true hues. Now it can be really helpful too is to desaturate the green which means take out some of the green so it's more black and white and that way your um, color filter will be a bit purer in color. So click on this bottom layer and then go to adjust up here and then we have a saturation layer. Um, so I would just take that all the way down to zero. And then now your, you can see a difference. It's a bit more of a natural blue. Whereas before, if we reset that, it's a bit, it like sort of picks up some of the green colors underneath. All right, when you're done, click export image, click download and you're all done. I would love to see the cool things that you come up with. So definitely tag us. Thank you.